Intermittent fasting is hot shit right now. It is very in fashion. You know, like big beards and man buns. But when it comes to weight loss, is the hype deserved? So intermittent energy restriction can come in various forms. On a daily basis, like the 16-8 protocol, or on a weekly basis, like alternate day fasting, the 5-2 diet, or similar. In this video, I'm going to discuss weekly structures only. So intermittent energy restriction did go off to a good start. One review concluded that although it didn't seem to be better for weight loss than traditional calorie restriction, it did look like it might be better for lean body mass preservation, which is of course awesome. However, this was in the early days and they weren't comparing head-to-head -head trials. They were looking at some traditional calorie restriction trials and comparing them to separate intermittent energy restriction trials. This means that there was variance in the populations being studied. Thankfully now we do have more head-to-head -head research. So the longest alternate day fasting trial to date to go head to head with traditional calorie restriction showed similar weight loss between conditions. Now this pissed off a lot of people on my YouTube channel. They implied that the study was invalid because on the fasting days participants were still advised to eat 25% of their calorie needs, not zero calories. Now, it is very important to note that there is no strict criteria on what intermittent energy restriction is. Some trials are zero calorie. Other trials have people eating 25% of calorie needs or similar. Some trials on their feeding days let people eat ad libitum. And other trials give them a set number of calories to eat on their feeding days. So methodologies do vary wildly. But for those of you who are interested, there is a zero calorie alternate day fasting trial, which again showed similar weight loss between conditions. Also, the the longest study comparing the 5-2 diet to traditional energy restriction again showed similar weight loss. So based on the combined research we have to date, what do we know? Here is one systematic review comparing head-to-head -head trials which conclude similar weight loss between conditions. Here is another review, again showing no weight loss advantage to intermittent energy restriction, and another one showing the same thing. So to conclude, I simply don't think there's adequate research to claim that the 5-2 diet or alternate day fasting diet is better than traditional dieting for weight loss. However, it is interesting to see that some people following their fasting days still consume fewer calories on their feeding days, which implies that it might be easier for some people to adhere to their calorie deficit. But that wasn't a universal thing. So if you like throwing fasting days into your week, crack on. If you prefer traditional dieting, crack on as well, because based on the research we have to date, it just doesn't really seem to matter either way.